Hello and welcome to my playthrough through the Stanley Parable, which is basically a narrative kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's qualified as a game, but it is. It is a great storytelling device, and it's responsive to your actions. Let's watch the first cutscene here. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So, here we are. You hear the narrator talking. Um, this will drag through the entire game. It's basically pretty cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So. Um, this game is about decisions and you will find out quite soon what I mean by that. I guess here's, yes, here's the first one of the game. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So now, the narrator calls something, but you could go through this one? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. See, <laughs> this game is quite cool. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. So, <laughs> that was basically the introduction. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So you see here, I have another choice going straight through, but I think I will follow the narrator now. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But I could push this button. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, empty. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, here's a lot of creative work in this art piece. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I just... No, I can't close the door behind him. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So yeah, I think we will follow through um, the instructions a little bit, and then just do our own stuff. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth 
that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's pretty cool. So, what's up, Stanley? Let's go downstairs. I dig this game. This is actually quite cool. A lot of work. There's a lot of work in it. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I hope not. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh. Okay. Let's mind control some dudes. Push a button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. It controls he had minds. The to find out. It's quite dark for such an such a game, which is basically just the narrator. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That's creepy. Why would you... Why, why would you even? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I guess so. No. No? He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Stanley, that's a pirate. In someone Dude. else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another it's human scared. life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. The controls look pretty down though. I want to control people's minds. But it ain't working. Mind control is idle. Okay. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Let's turn it on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? <laughs> After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley. Can I murder I myself? No. Your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. 
I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. So? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <laughs> These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, <laughs> screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you. This is so red. That you're powerless. To see you made Boom. Humble. This is Aww. a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye and play you. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just Let's just blown. push the off button and... Desperately to your frail life? Own? Let it go peacefully. Another choice? Make it cut. Or don't. It's okay. the same to me. All a part it of does not life. work. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we okay. begin until the moment okay. I say happily ever up. G G. Welcome to the Stanley Parable. I just died in a nuclear explosion. I messed with the the narrator, and he got pissed and just bombed that whole place. Um. It seems like the story is driven by this dude. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps so so let's let's Lama. fuck with them a little bit. So the mind controlled facility is one thing, but when Stanley came to a set of two open this was not the correct way to the meeting I know, room. right? And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge no. just to admire. No, 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 no. 
Wow. I won't yes. do what you this say I will do. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his nope. left. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> will cause death. For mouse. Miss you on cargo left. Ow! Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off I on the wrong foot. I could kill myself I'm here. Not your enemy, really, <laughs> I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but, let's but the fact try is something that else. the story has been about nothing. What? Yes. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Danger. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince he you just of this, but blew me I really up. do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. S Look, sir. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. But he tried to blow me up, or he blew me now up. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. He, he did blow me up. Uh, I'm... Aha, perhaps you understood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, he set me back. I still don't think you're <laughs> communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red <laughs> All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. Yes. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This <laughs> already feels leaps ahead of where we were <laughs> What? Before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. What? Yes, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. He isn't. You will be mad. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, God. Oh, it has a leaderboard. Good old Niels, skid. What? They, they... Oh. Yeah, sure. Um, let's go through. Middle is good. Middle is good. Now, what? what? Say that competitive leader <laughs> helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors. Again, honest answers. Please. Let's give him a two. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play Oh, nice! You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Perfect. Go Let ahead. Boot it up. Yes, booting all day. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. What? And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly <laughs> confronting the demands of family life. 
I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Yes. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Let's do it. Nope. Nope. This... this sound. Nope. Okay, die, baby. Nope. I wonder if something happens if I play this four hours straight. I don't want to be mean. Please. Please. But this is so annoying. Make it stop. Oop. I can push a button from the wrong side. Nope. I can't. Should I? Should I? Let's do it. I'm sorry. Can't watch this. You heartless bastard! Aww. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? I because guess. It's the latter. Well, I don't know what to do. You. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Uh, okay. No shit. Is this any better? At last, the one thing what? you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. That is... Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say <coughs> this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No. Here and then. Oh wow! Let's see. What does it need? I uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. But I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside but and make yourself comfortable. It's again just walking through doors. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. What? How, how, how does this even... Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I did not. That's insanity. No, 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 no. this is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> oh dear. I love this so bad. Is this portal? <laughs> Yes, I don't know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Oh. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Oh, well, no, I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. You mean that portal? Oh, no. What? This thing is so annoying. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. So, G. 
genius. <laughs> yes. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through Zero hole. these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. See ya. Which is why... Beta. I'm in the beta. Do I? No, I don't have a flashlight. Why would I? Why would I? Oh, I'm dead. Nope, I'm not. I will turn backwards. Open this door. Nope. 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 There's an open door. The beta is so dark. <laughs> open doors, open doors. Maybe there's a slender man or something. Maybe we'll take on a horror game. I love this. I, I will just keep on clicking because I love old keyboards. Wait, I was here already. Will this end somewhere soon? I walked in a circle. It's a little brighter here, though. Wait, these are numbers. Let's, let's go to our desk. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. Light. <laughs> 47. <laughs> that is my workspace here. Um. I don't know if something is supposed to happen. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right <laughs> now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Sure. I can wait. Yeah, go right ahead. End it. <laughs> end is never, end is it never, end is never loading. <laughs> Okay, that wraps it up for my first playthrough. Through. Through. I, I don't think I played through anything. But, yeah. I saw Minecraft. I saw por 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 Portal. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. Uh, first episode, Stanley Parable. Narrative exploration adventure stuff. The game within the game, I'm out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.